Hello and welcome to the session. Let's discuss the following question. It says, solve the following system of inequalities graphically. Let us now move on to the solution. The first inequality given to us is x plus 2y less than equal to 10. And its corresponding equation of line is x plus 2y is equal to 10. Now to draw this line we need to have two points. So if x is 0 then y is equal to 5 and if y is equal to 0 then x is equal to 10. So we need to plot the ordered pairs 0, 5 and 10, 0 to draw the line x plus 2y is equal to 10. Let us now draw the line x plus 2y is equal to 10. For that we need to plot the ordered pairs 0, 5 and 10, 0. Now if y is 0, x is 10. And if x is 0, y is 5. Now we join these two points to get the line x plus 2y is equal to 10. Now we have to identify the region for the inequality x plus 2y less than equal to 10. For that we take any point not lying on the line x plus 2y is equal to 10 and we check whether that point satisfies this inequality or not. If that point satisfies this inequality will shade the region which contains that point and if that point doesn't satisfy this inequality will shade the region which doesn't contain that point. And we know that 0, 0 does not lie on the line x plus 2y is equal to 10. So we take that point to be 0, 0. So if x is 0, y is 0, the inequality becomes x plus 2y that is 0 plus 2 into 0 is less than equal to 10 that is 0 is less than equal to 10 which is true. That means the point 0, 0 satisfies the inequality x plus 2y less than equal to 10. So we will shape the region which contains the point 0, 0 for the inequality x plus 2y less than equal to 10. Now this is the region which contains the point 0, 0 for the inequality x plus 2y less than equal to 10. So we will shape this region. Also the inequality contains the less than equal to sign which shows that the line x plus 2y is also included in the solution region. So we need to darken this line to show that this line is also included in the solution region of the inequality x plus 2y less than equal to 10. Now the second inequality given to us is x plus y greater than equal to 1 and its corresponding equation of line is x plus y is equal to 1. Now if x is 0 then y is 1 and if y is 0 then x is equal to 1. So we need to plot the ordered pairs 0, 1 and 1, 0 to draw the line x plus y is equal to 1. Let us now draw the line x plus y is equal to 1. So if x is 0, y is 1. And if y is 0, x is 1. So we join these two points to get the line x plus y is equal to 1. Now to identify the region for the inequality x plus y greater than equal to 1, we take the point not lying on the line x plus y is equal to 1. 0, 0 does not lie on the line x plus y is equal to 1. So if x is 0, y is 0 then inequality becomes 0 plus 0 greater than equal to 1 that is 0 greater than equal to 1 which is not true.
that implies the point zero zero does not satisfy the inequality x plus y greater than equal to one. So we'll shade the region which does not contain the point zero zero for the inequality x plus y greater than equal to one. Now this is the region which does not contain the point zero zero for the inequality x plus y greater than equal to one. Right? That means the region above the line x plus y is equal to one. So we shade this region. So the region above the line x plus y is equal to one is the solution region for the inequality x plus y greater than equal to one, which also includes the line x plus y is equal to one. So we darken this line. Now the third inequality given to us is x minus y less than equal to zero, and its corresponding equation of line is x. Minus y is equal to zero. That implies x is equal to y. So we need to draw the line x is equal to y, and we know that this is the line passing through the region. That is, if x is zero, then y is also zero. If x is one, then y is one. Let us now draw the line x is equal to y. It passes through the region, so we draw the line x is equal to y. Now we have to identify the region for the inequality x minus y less than equal to zero. For that, we take any point not lying on the line x minus y is equal to zero. Now we know that the point zero zero lies on the line x minus y is equal to zero. That is, x is equal to y. So we take any other point. Let's say the point one two, and if x is one, y is two. So the inequality becomes one minus two less than equal to zero. That implies minus one is less than equal to zero, which is true. That means the point one two satisfies the inequality. X minus y less than equal to zero. So we'll shade the region which contains the point one two for the inequality x minus y less than equal to zero. Now the point is one two. That is x is one, y is two. It is this point. So we'll shade the region which contains this point. So let us now shade this region. Now we need to darken the line. X is equal to y because the line is also included in the solution region. Now we are also given that x is greater than equal to zero and y is greater than equal to zero. That is, each point in the solution region lies in first quadrant, and the line x is equal to zero and y is equal to zero. Also included in the solution region. Now we see that the region in dark green is common to all the solution regions, and this is the required solution region. And this completes the question. Hope you enjoyed this session. Goodbye and take care.